Hi, Arya, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some dwarves and Captain Ironhill in Dunkarok. And today, we are going to do a dungeon. We are going to be doing RFK, Razor Pen Crawl. Got some uh, people going to the Summoning Stone right now. Shout out to uh, Strange Magic and Miss Dottie for uh, summoning the group. Really do appreciate it. And what I'm going to do while I, I believe they're running down to summon, I'm going to go get some manas for everybody, just in case. And I'm also going to uh, hopefully level up our first aid. I haven't got all day. So our first aid is... Uh, can level it up. Yeah, it looks like she doesn't have all day. We don't have all day either, so... We're gonna call it Slackers. <laughs> Strange won the race. Where's, uh... First aid. There's a little race going on. To the summoning stone. We're a couple of Slackers here. In Undercity. Me and, uh, I believe the Rogue, Fiza. And I believe Pika Pika is in Stone Talon Mountains. He is, um slaying the Venture Company. Trying to protect Stone Talon Mounds from the Venture Company. And all the destruction that they are causing. I think Pika Pika's hanging out here. Yeah, or Fiza. What is it? They're doing the same thing. Why can't I train it up? Are we at that level? Really? I may have... No way. Yeah, we might be. I have to get the 150. Try to get the 150. It might take us some time. I need to get some manas, though. When do we get the next level? I don't think we're going to get 150. Maybe I could ask Fiza for some wool. Got wool. Like two. Gave me ten. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, good sir. Blood elves look out for each other. There we go. So we got silk cloth now, which is damn good. Yeah, we got to. So it looks like we need to go to a special place to get our wool first aid up. I believe we're gonna have to go to Dust Swallow Marsh, and there's a, a trainer there. I think that could be alchemy though. Could be wrong. It's crazy how fast we're leveling up our professions. Alchemy's at 90. Hmm. We'll be back in Undercity. I am forsaken. Alright, so let's get a bunch of these. Yeah, I got like 61. Okay, maybe we'll get it like 10. There we go. Goodbye. There we go. Bought some waters. Looks like he's almost there. Unless if anybody needs any. Looks like Pika Pika is using Devotion Aura, so we will change our aura to, uh, hmm. 
we have devotion aura. Yeah, there it is. We will change it to retribution aura. Anyone who strikes you, you think that's a good one? I wonder if we have any better auras than that. I think it's just red aura and devotion aura. It's really all we got. Alright, so it looks like the summons are going to be going out soon, and then we're going to be going into Razorfen Crawl. We may be a high level for it, but our tank is level 25, which is nice. It's leveled up. He asked me if I could tank, but... And I could. But I need to level up my swords. My one-handed swords. My two-handed swords are good, but my one-handed not working too well. We need to train that up. Wouldn't be hitting too much with that one-handed sword, and our threat would be pretty damn bad. I if we can get some alchemy pots going. We got a minor defense we can use. We can make some lesser healing pots. So we might as well do that. Do we have any junk that we gotta sell? Don't really see much junk. We gotta have a lot of room. Get rid of this cheese, I guess. Hello. Should repair our gear. It's always a good thing to do. Band of Undercity can go. Don't want to keep these guys waiting. Get rid of this vest. Keep everything else. Get rid of all that junk food. This mana pot can go too. We can put this in the bank. Victory for Sylvanus. Victory for Sylvanus. Okay, I don't want to keep these guys waiting much longer. Okay, that's enough bag, bag space. All right, here we go. We're going in. I will not forget. I will not forget. Let's see what he needs. Give him might. I mean, we'll give him. Yeah, we'll give him might. Gonna be fighting a lot of quill boars today. I don't know if anybody has any quests. And I think we're good. I think he's got wisdom. Just give might to everybody if he's giving wisdom out. Let's give everybody might. Even though they don't need it. Yeah, looks like we have to get like a train. Whatever. Do the dungeon. Okay. That big damage. So Miss Dots is the highest level. I'm second highest. And the healer's third. And then Fiza and uh, Pika are 25. So Fiza and Pika are actually a pretty good level for this place. Everybody else in the group's uh, pretty high. I'm happy we're doing this. I've never done this uh, dungeon on any of the Let's Plays, so it's nice that we're getting this, uh, getting this done. I had to sit in uh, queue for quite a bit. But it was worth it. Just had a little bit of, a little bit of dinner and uh, just hanged out. And eventually, Miss Dot, he uh, messaged me asking if I need a group. I was actually trying to, to get a SM Graveyard. Maybe we'll try to get that next. 
seems like I should be, I think, a level 30 probably to get that. And we most likely will be level 30 by, uh, probably by the end of, of this dungeon. I also think I should be wearing the other sword. We're using that uh, Shadow Bolt sword that we were using. I think this one's just a bit better. Because we have to rely on the proc to go off for it to be worth it. I think I'll just take the extra attack power. It's a longer swing, but oh, it's a big pull. Very big pull. Steel aggro here. Just wrecking this squirrel horn. Oh, he's running away, dude. He's running away. Oh no, did I pull that? Look at all this guy. Let's try to steal aggro. Here we go. This pig. Got a lot of buffs in this group. It's pretty crazy. Seems like the paladin isn't giving me any buffs. That's fine. Well, he's giving me devotion aura, but he could give me wisdom. That's a cool. We uh, were able to deal with that huge pull, so I think we're going to be rolling through this dungeon. Some cool bosses in here, too. I like how there's a Quillabore dungeon. There's a lot of uh, fighting of the Quillabore and the Barons. I think that's probably where many of the quests are for this dungeon. I think we'll probably have to... Uh, we'll probably have to go to Camp Mah Mahache to get a quest for this dungeon, I think. Yeah, I would say the Quillbore are up there for for no for annoying sounds for uh, for a mob. They're up there with uh, the harpies for sure. Gonna be hearing a lot of squealing today. Also, recently. Uh, Beat the Diablo storyline, which was cool. The game has a really good cinematics, solid story. Happy I played it. And it's really making me uh, look forward to what they have in store for uh, Diablo Diablo 4. And I'm wondering if Bale will be in that one. I know Bale wasn't in, uh, wasn't in 3A, so I assume Bale is probably most likely dead. Who knows? Blizzard always likes to resurrect enemies and characters from time to time. I think I could probably tank with a two-hander in this dungeon. Maybe. I should probably drop Consecrate down, too. Nice shield. Greed that. I think Pika Pika may need it. This will buff everybody up. Or if he's looking at it, looking at the shield. And he's going in. He was trying to pull just two, but pulled more. Put two consecrates down, getting some AoE damage in there. Get up! 
Not a bad ring for Nax, a little bit of frost resist. Oh, look, we got it. Some frost resist ring. Actually, it would probably sell for like 30 gold back in phase six of classic. This frost resist uh, gear was pretty damn expensive and uh, sought after because everybody was having trouble with, uh, with uh, frost resist and Nax. Especially for saffron. Yeah, maybe after this we'll try to do Graveyard. 30 is a pretty good level to do Graveyard. Most likely going to take our Hearth back to uh, Terran Mill. And then we'll do a couple quests there as well. A couple of the Elixir quests to do still. We're leveling up pretty quick on Travenant. It's moving pretty quick. Squidly Diddly seems to be falling behind, but that's what you get for jumping down waterfalls for a couple episodes. The thing I like about dungeons is solid XP. And they're pretty chill. Oh. Get him! I think a dog caught him. Get on this one. Drop. Hot's crate right there. Pigs love to run when they're almost dead. That's how the big pulls happen. Get him! I like Wailing Caverns more than this one, though. I think that Wailing Caverns is probably the more memorable double dungeon in the Barrens. This dungeon's fun, though. Gee, there's Razor Fen Downs, too. We're doing Crawl. Razor Fen Downs is just across from, from Crawl. We haven't done that either. It's a pretty cool dungeon. I'd say if I had to make a tier list for Barrens Dungeons, Say Wailing Caverns first, then Razor Fen Downs, then Razor Fen Crawl. I just like the the bosses in in Downs more than Crawl. Mostly just fight a bunch of pigs in <laughs> Razor Fen Crawl. While in Downs, you're fighting like a skeleton mage and all this cool stuff. There's the big boss, a Gam Thorn Curse. Alright, I think we're pretty damn ready to go. So we got everybody buffed again. Get him! He came out swinging, dude. Looks like I'm taking aggro. I'm trucking this guy. <laughs> oh, nice dagger for the rogue. 
the rogue's going daggers, I'm not too sure. Think the rogue could unlock it. Oh, nice little wand, maybe, for the warlock. And I won the wand. See, so no one needed it. Yeah, we seem to be cruising past everything here. Or if he's gonna go this way, yeah, just boss over here. Nice mail chest. We start wearing mail at 40, so. I don't know if we, we can hit him with the. Nope. Warlock's got him. I don't need it. I don't think I need this chest. It's a nice chest, though. Actually, we can wear mail. What am I talking about? I have a paladin. Yeah, this is way better than mine. We're wearing it. So we got a new chest. I can't believe I couldn't think I couldn't wear mail. Plate class. I keep thinking I'm on my shaman or hunter. That's one thing was when you're playing a bunch of different classes, it uh, catches up to you. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to remember everything. Yeah, I th I've come to the conclusion that three is the limit. And uh, six six different Let's Plays going on, three episodes a day, is, is probably the limit for me. That's for sure. Cause it's not a good sign if I'm, you know, forgetting things like that. It's going to be fun, though. There's a lot of du good dungeons up ahead. There's also a couple of... Uh, I've seen a couple of Horde trying to do Nomaragon, so we might even do Nomaragon on Traven. We'll be looking forward to that. Got all the SM dungeons as well to do. Doing those 100%. And you may even start tanking a bit. You might, uh... You might start tanking. Why not? Give it a try. Maybe we'll change our spec up, you know? We're also going to hit uh, good old level 30 today. Or pretty damn soon. Damn, I should have kept my Earth at Undercity. There we go, we leveled up. Speaking of level 30, we are now level 30. And you know what that means? That means we can get our mount. And all we have to do is go to the, the Paladin Trainer. So we'll probably do that. Yeah, we'll probably do that next episode. Or this episode. We'll just get it this episode. And then... Depending on how long it is, though. Maybe we'll get it next episode. Yeah, because this, this dungeon could take a while. If we, if we just blaze through this, then... I don't mind flying from Terran Mill and take that long, but if it's over an hour, I'm not gonna fly from Terran Mill. We can just save it for next episode. Yeah, we can get our mount now. It's really, it's a big deal. It's really good. All right, so I guess we have everything maxed out that we wanted. Oh, well, Crusade. I guess we'll keep maxing out Crusade. So we have Crusade up now. Do 3% extra damage to humanoids, undead, undead, and I believe demons as well. It's pretty much 3% damage against everything except beasts. 
And I think, uh... I wonder what these are considered. Uh, these pigs. They're either considered, um, beasts. Or they could be considered humanoids, because they do, like, you know, stand on their own, on two feet. They're probably humanoids. Like, they're not really pigs anymore. They're the bristleback. of their overlord and ham tusk. So he has some pretty dope loot. It's going to be fun when Classic Fresh comes out and everybody's just doing these old school dungeons. This guy's really playing it safe, which is smart. Pulling all the mobs around the boss. There's going to be a lot of ninja looting <laughs> in these dungeons. People are going to be trying to get as much gold as they can, you know. They got to get their mount, so. It's a lot of uh, ninja, ninja looting for, for pieces. Victory for Gabagad. Nice, right, so we're going in. I guess we'll get rid of these guys. This guy too. Time to time to put a stun on this guy. Drop a hammer on him. There we go. Now it looks like Dottie's putting in work here. This is Dottie's boss. Pulling threat. The Tusker helm dropped. That's 100% better than our helm. We don't even have a helm, dude. That's why I knew it was 100% better than the helm that we don't have. <laughs> okay, so there we go. New helm, guys. First helm ever. Nice, grats. <laughs> Yes! Yeah, nice Tuscan helm, dude. That's awesome. That's a big upgrade. Hit level 30, got a Tuscan helm. That's one thing about dungeons as well. Like, the amount of gear you get is just really good. It's a really solid helm too. 12 Agi, 12 Strength. Tons of damage right there. We look much different now than we did before. <laughs> no more long hair. Gonna be wearing helms from now on. Probably won't see that long hair for a while. Get him. Oh, we got a patrol coming. These, this patrol always killed people, dude. This patrol was bad news. He always had to, like, try to pull, like, when the patrol leave, left. He always wanted to pull him back a bit. I remember pulling this dungeon on my warrior. And, uh... Yeah, this patrol wipes a lot of, a lot of groups. Especially if we were, like, level 23 and stuff. It'd be pretty damn tough. 24, 25. Get some really good damage, though. Looks like I gotta put 
might on everybody. And we gotta take a drink. Male waste, better than our waste. We needing that. <laughs> We're getting geared, guys. I don't think anybody needs that male waste in this group. Maybe the, the other paladin. He doesn't need it. <laughs> Weird. Doesn't need any of the gear that I need. I guess he just because maybe he can't wear it. All right, so there we go. We got another male waist. Our gear is getting really damn good. Happy we got in this dungeon. It's meant to be. Yeah, we got a big stat gain today. We got like over 20 strength. Tons of stamina. Agi. Almost 20 Agi. No, 12 Agi. Might as well drink. Get full mana. There we go. Healing guy, I'll get on him. Get him! A rain of fire generating a lot of threat. All right, so here we go. So we're at the second half of the dungeon now. Get a little bit of mana. There's also some extra bosses here. You fight like a giant boar. I believe. If I remember correctly. I don't know if we'll be doing those though. Skip these guys if we want. Get him. Nope, pulled a little bit more. It'll be okay. Yeah, consecrate. Looks like I got aggro on one. Stun this guy if he gets too close to a patrol. Have a quick drink. We yeah, have solid XP. We might even get halfway to 31 by the time this is done. Like our group, too. Tons of buffs. Got blood packed on the warlock. A lot of stamina. Fort from uh, the priest. And then we get the two auras from the paladins. Light and wisdom. And the rogues. Rogues don't bring buffs. The rogues just bring themselves. And they, they can open chests. That's why some people think rogues are considered a, a greedy class. They don't really bring anything to groups. 
other than themselves, which is usually pretty damn good because rogues usually do a lot of damage. That's one thing they do have. Here we are at the bat cave. There's some cool pulls you can do in here with if you have like a mage group. You can pull like pretty much all these bats and just AoE them down. Call it like a spell cleave. A warrior druid or like a warlock, I will pull them all and then group them up and just blizzard them down. It's one reason why I want to play a, a mage classic rush just to, to do stuff like that. Our group Rex. Really smooth run. Nice group. And we're gonna have to get a photo here, so I think that's where the, the giant uh, hog is inside this little portal. Probably take a quick drink. Ah, oh, smooth run. He's doing a good job. No way he said sorry. He's doing great. I think they can kill that stuff. Oh wait, never mind. We have to go fight stuff here. I want to take a picture of all of them. That little portal thing looks cool. It's like a barrier, really. I'll help heal. Have a quick drink. I wonder if I can go in. Oh no! I want to get like a nice pick here. I keep moving them around. Man, we're not getting a nice one. <laughs> I gotta start fighting. We could actually wipe here. Get rid of this one. No, oh, I don't have a stun for the healing wave. It's really bad. I'll help heal uh, Pika. And then silence. He'll peek up. Thank you. Let's heal yourself, strange. Try to get another picture. Yeah, whenever I. I gotta stop doing that, taking pictures during pulls. <laughs> but it's, it's usually the best pictures are during pulls. They're, for dungeons. These little guys. There we go. The ward is down. He needs SS. Soul stone. This is going to be fun. There he is, the big boa. Wait to aggro. Yeah, no problem. We will wait aggro. He didn't really wait aggro, did he? <laughs> I, why did you do that? Why didn't you wait aggro? Imagine we wipe. I'm trying to get a good picture. This Dottie's gonna die. I just gotta wait aggro. And 
He got it. I can take another one. Should I want to? No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> or whatever. Leather. Nice uh, legs. Even for me. But I'll leave them for the for the rogue. The rogue needs them more than I do. Thing is, if I had leather legs, that's that's worth. But since I have mail, then it's an armor decrease. So I don't really need them. But I think if uh, the paladin you're with has leather legs, then he should be able to roll on uh, on an upgrade if it's an upgrade. Yeah, it's a cool boar boss. I really like the boar. I think we have one more boss left. To get rid of all these bats. Get him! Yeah, pretty good group. I think we're like less than an hour. Probably be done in like 15 minutes. I still think we'll probably do... Probably do some town stuff next episode. And try to get our alchemy up. Get our mount. Stuff like that. We got some silver vein over there. A lot of rogues come in here that have mining and they try to get these silver veins early on. Good source of gold. In a classic WoW. Yeah, just up there should be the, the final boss. There's usually like some, uh, some chests around here. For the rogue to open. It could be protected by bats. Kind of cold here. Everyone's just like chilling out. I should get on this stock. Stun him. Should have killed out. Should have stunned the healer, probably. Pulling more bats. Another stalker here as well. It's a rough pull, but I think we'll be okay. We got a lot of mana. I mean, the healer do. Warlock's having a rough time. Good fear. Coil, I should say. Just gotta get these bats down. Yeah, dungeon leveling is like so fast. We pretty much got like almost a full level here just in a dungeon. Get a lot of XP.
And there he is. The boss. The final boss. And there's some stuff down here too. We can. And we'll get him to come down. Charlga Razor Flank. I buff everybody up here. Where'd our tank go? Where's our tank? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he DC'd. Yeah, give him a bit. Yeah, oh wait, we don't want to just take his job, you know? It'd be funny if I died. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd come back. We'll cheer, we'll cheer him on when he comes in. Ha ha ha! Woo! Alright, go get him. Go get him, big boy. Glory of course, I'll teach you to interfere. in here? Yeah, this is a terrible screenshot. So like we're tanking him, anyways. <laughs> Get him. My power rules here. Yes, it does. Our new allies will avenge us. Doing some big dam. There we go. Finish that off. And we have a nice finger stamp of spirit. Let's say it's better than ours. I'd rather take the crit. So I'm just going to read it. I think that's better for, like, the casters. We also got a small scroll. And it begins a quest. My lady. You know very well what it is we are offering. The opportunity for you to take the barons and lands beyond is a great one. We simply want your aid in return. By aid, we mean nothing more than your giving us the freedom to take action in the area. Please allow us to discuss this further. We have great power and are willing to share with those enough to join us. I will remain outside Razorfin Downs for the time being. Best regards, Ambassador Malson. Take the small scroll to Vera Mathras and Undercity. So we actually have some to do in our city. Yeah, GG's. Well, these guys want. These guys want to do the escort. We can do it. And the good thing is that bringing that quest to Verimathras is uh, we actually need to go there to get our uh, our upgrade. Everyone just wants to go get XP. All right, let's go do it. We'll help them out. Don't want to abandon the group like that. Looks like we're doing the, the gauntlet. Oh. This could be rough. I'm gonna start healing here. I may have to start healing. I think we'll be alright. That guy's almost down. Talon's kinda low though. Come on. Oh, this is bad. They just died. There we go. I guess we'll take a take a quick pick here like this. That'll be kind of a nice picture. These guys are pretty much full. I can kind of go in a bit. 
Keep taking pictures till we pull. We can do one of these. That'd be kind of nice. It's a nice little pick. That's enough pictures. Right, there we go. We're done. I just wanted to get another picture because I was kind of worried that the, the, the one we did of the boar boss wasn't going to be uh, wasn't going to work too well. There you go. We got a quest. We got a dead night elf here too. Harold at the Fallow Brook. Time is money. Friend. The last help has arrived. You have no clue. How long I've been held prisoner here. I can't remember the last time I saw the outside of this place. You see, I am an entrepreneur. Always out for a copper, as they say. I caught wind that Mibok Mizirix was paying well for Redleaf Tuber from this here pig pen. I figured it would be an easy in. Have a good one. Out. Okay, so I guess, yeah, we'll start the quest. Can't really say no there. And, uh, easy in. Where, where, where were we? In. I figured it would be an easy and easy out kind of affair as you can see I was a bit wrong anyway if you'd be kind enough to help me get out of here I'll make it worth your while that's good we got a couple of quests to finish here we got me bot coming and we've got a bunch of zombie boars coming in here it's still kind of cool I don't remember them looking like this Be honest. Got good aggro on this one. Everybody buffed up and had a quick drink. While uh, Willis makes his way through here. Yeah, I think we can do this. This is like probably the hardest part of the dungeon because it's an escort and he just keeps walking. And I think we have the damage to keep up with them. With them. These boars just come out of nowhere. Yeah, good place to have skinning, that's for sure. I wonder if you can skin the... Skin the, quil, skin the quill boars, probably not. They're not. I don't think they're considered... Uh, I don't think they're considered beasts. Drink. I think Pika may need a drink pretty soon. This is when we can run into problems. He just keeps on going. He doesn't care about mana. As long as Meebok can keep walking, that's all that matters. Look at the armor on these guys. I think he's gonna drink now, yeah.
How you doing? Hey, how you doing? These boards look cool. They should be mounts, man. Look, look at this one. This one looks awesome. Yeah, it's a long journey. You can run out of mana pretty quick. This pulse can get pretty damn big. I think we'll be alright, though. These guys are enraging. Right, got your back. I'll tank it. Take a drink. Got a lot of armor now since we have this helmet. What if he'd like run into all this stuff? Look, yeah, it looks like he's thinking about it. <laughs> I had a feeling you would do that. That's funny. That's cool. We got the AoE for it, I think. Sounds like the warlock's got mana. Me and the rogue don't do too much either, though. Than like consecrate. I probably have to drink after that. Yeah, we had it done. I, I was hoping to be under an hour, but. It is what it is. We wanted to do the escort. The escort takes a while. So we will be 100% getting our mount tomorrow. And we will be turning in um, the Unholy Alliance quest. That's right. Push it. Yeah, it's a long journey of killing uh, Boris, <laughs> that's for sure, this escort. I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna get in there soon. I don't need full mana, just a little bit. Looks like the Warlock's getting some pulls going. There's a patrol pig coming. Agamar, the elite. This guy's just an Agamar? That's a raging Agamar. That was the guy. I thought that was the pig's name. I guess that's what they call these, uh, these powerful boars. I guess that's what they were working on in here. They were working on all of these, like, uh, super powerful boars they're going to use to fight against the horde. Well, I think it's the Torrent too. The, I think that's the main enemy of, uh... Of the Quill Boar. So I remember fighting the Quill Boar, like, right at the start as the Torrent. And, um, I can't believe I forgot the name of it. Mulgor, yeah. And this is it. This is the end. Yo! 
These guys love taking their time with these escort guys. <laughs> and it's good they do that because they pull too much, but... It'd be nice if they just followed you. Glad to be out of that wretched trench. Not too much nicer up here, though. I think we're going to get, like, ambushed at the entrance. You know, like, to reduce by 15. Let's, like, give these guys a rebuff while we're chilling. Come on. Time is money, Let's go, Willix. Might as well just start Pioc with him out here. Anarala Bellore! Apparently, I'll be glad to get out of this place. <laughs> These pigs just come out of nowhere. The serenity to accept the things I cannot Watch change, out. courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to. <laughs> Just give me some freaking magic before I kill somebody! They will take strength, the tiger band. Yaji's really good though. It's like for more crit and stuff like that. They will take the tiger band. Thanks again, friend. I told you I'd make it worth your while. Be good. There we go. We're almost level 31. It's pretty crazy. And we finished that off. Nice smooth run. Shout out to Miss Dottie for making the group. It's a lot of fun. And now we are going to put on this ring. Not a bad ring. Not a great ring, but not a bad ring. I'd say it's pretty comparable to the one we already have. But yeah, it's time to hearth out of here. And we're going to be in Terran Mill. And I believe next episode we are going to Undercity. We're going to turn in a quest. And then we are going to... I guess we'll do some town stuff. And we're going to learn... Uh, summon War Charger, I believe it's called. Which means we were, we are going to have our mount now, which is pretty awesome. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.